Hi, I'm Ole England and today I'm trying out the STL Tonality Howard Benson plugin. Now, you might say, who is Howard Benson? And if you said that, then you should pay more attention. He's a world-renowned producer engineer and has together with fellow engineer Mike Plotnikoff worked with Bon Jovi, P.O.D., In Flames, My Chemical Romance and many more artists and albums. They have teamed up with STL Tones to create a new amplifier plugin suite containing five different amplifiers designed from the ground up based on the engineer's own favorite amplifiers. It also comes with five different speaker IRs, overdrive pedal and delay and reverb. Quick overview and uh, nothing too shocking, you have the amplifier head looking all metal and all with its controls and down here you pick what amplifier you want to work with. So you have amp 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and even though they are a little bit different they do share the same amp controls. Bass, middle, treble, presence, gain and master. Some of them also have a bright and normal switch and one of them has an extra contour control. Down here you'll find the gate control, you have a tuner and then next to the amp selection we have the tone section. And the tone part is where you just switch the layout of the plugin. So right now we're at the amp section, then we have a pre part with an overdrive and we have effects like delay and reverb. And then we have the amp part and next to that we have the cabinet or IR part where you can switch between five IRs like this or even load in your own impulse response. So very simple, very straightforward and if you're used to plug-in amplifiers you will feel familiar. So let's try it out. I'm using this Solar S1.6 Poplar Burl straight into my Apogee Ensemble interface into this plugin. Right, let's go. So this first amplifier here is modeled after Bogner Uberschall. Fuller sounding cabinet. Apparently, this is a two by twelve cabinet, but I really like how it's you know bright. try and load in my own impulse response.
Yeah, I like that. Let me try a couple of the presets. <laughs> So this is amp number two, it's modeled after a Wizard 50 amplifier. That's cool. This is amp number three, and that's modeled after a Marshall JMP Tremolo 50. Draw there. I really like that. I really like that, that's awesome. Okay, next amplifier. Okay, so amp number four is modeled after a Fender Twin Reverb, so... That's beautiful, it's a great clean. So amp number five... That's a Fender Bassman, so also clean. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of reverb. That's cool. Rock lead. Wow, shit. Wow, that's a killer lead tone. That's beautiful. What amp was that? That was the Marshall JMP. Crunch rhythm. was the app number two, so that was the Wizard 50. Heavy rhythm. <laughs> it's 
really tight. Let me add some more gain. That, that's, a, that's a really good rhythm tone. This makes me really happy. I'm getting all sweaty. Why do I always have to make the gallops? <laughs> Stupid. You know what I really like about this is that for metal rhythm, you have a really good amplifier sound, or a couple, at least one or two free, and then you have the JMP, which is like for leads, and then you have two really good clean amps going. So, so in that sense, it's a very, at least for me, complete suite of uh, tone in this plugin. It really covers my type of tones, at least. So, that's nice. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest here. Before I tried out this plugin, I wasn't really that excited. But you know what? As soon as I opened it up and had the default sound going. I immediately started writing riffs. I was just blown away with how the first sound actually sounded. And uh, with a couple of tweaks, I had a sound that was just crushing out of the box. And something that I truly like is that basically every preset I tried is something I would be able to use. Like from the rhythms, cleans, leads. You know when I just want to smash open a new song and write some killer riffs? You know, I just want something quick and don't want to sit and tweak up a good sound, you know, taking time that would potentially kill the vibe for me wanting to write a song. So that's just really something I personally appreciate. I mean, sometimes plugins just give you way too many options and you kind of get lost in there with how much you can do. Here's like, BAM! There you go. A great sound without any effort. I would definitely check out this plugin. It sounds f killer for metal, I must say. For more info, check out stltones.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you care about my well-being. And yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you.